Hey guys, um, so you may have noticed, this doesn't say the reddest stone, and yet I'm in Minecraft. Uh, my reddest stone videos, I was putting a lot of production work into them, mostly for the intros and getting all of that rendered out and edited, uh, and I haven't really been getting any feedback. Not that I've been getting negative feedback, I just haven't been getting any feedback, which makes me think not many people are watching. Um, so the reddest stone videos uh, are going to be kind of... Uh, not existent anymore. Uh, I have a few that I've uh, recorded beforehand and I might upload those at random intervals and I might upload some Minecraft stuff uh, periodically as I get ideas but it's not going to be the produced uh, regular scheduled Redis Stone series anymore. Um, if you're sad about that then just let me know in the comments. Let me know that you actually want the reddest stone and then I'll continue um, but otherwise uh, like I said I will focus on my real life a bit more and then just post minecraft redstone videos as I get the ideas um, so yeah so today it's a very small uh, redstone idea that I think a lot of people may know already but for those of you who don't, you may find it very useful. It's a component of kind of potentially larger builds. Um, I don't know, you might want to use this if you're making a mini game, or if you're making an adventure map for some kind of rewards, or even just um, for your own use. I don't know, you can find a use for it. Um, so let's show you what we're working with here. So we have a chest here. If I open it up, there's just a blaze rod, which... If I'm doing some brewing, might be helpful. Otherwise, yeah, it's not really useful, but let's take it anyway. Oh, look at that. Gold just appeared. That's weird. Well, let me take the gold then. Oh, there's an emerald. And a diamond. And some iron. And a nether star. Wow. I can make a beacon with that. Oh, some lapis. Oh, and I guess that's it. <laughs> So, as you noticed, every time I took something out of the chest, something else appeared inside. Uh, and more importantly, it was actually a random item from a list of items that appeared. So, it's not going to give, uh, you know, it, it might have a blaze rod first, but it's not going to give you uh, gold, emerald, diamond, iron, nether star, and lapis in the same order every time. Uh, it is actually random, and it's very easy to build. Um, as I said, many of you may know this already, but for those of you who don't, it's a simple contraption, and so I'm going to show it to you in case you need a chest randomizer. Um, and all of the redstone is right here. Yeah, like I said, it's simple to build. Um, so the idea is, this right here is a dropper. Uh, I suppose you could also use a dispenser. But then if you want to use any of the items that a dispenser interacts with, uh, it's not going to work well. So you got a dropper here, which is just cobblestone and a piece of redstone. Uh, you've got the repeater here, which again, stone and some redstone torches. Um, you've got a redstone torch here, which is redstone and sticks. And a chest, which is just wood. So all of this is really cheap. The only thing that's maybe a little expensive is the comparator. It's not that expensive, except that it requires nether quartz. So if you're like me and you're afraid to go in the nether because you always die there, like I do, um, this may be a problem in survival. But otherwise it's really cheap, so even in survival you can make this. And so the idea is, uh, as long as there's something inside this chest, say a blaze rod, this comparator will turn on. Uh, and it doesn't matter that there's only one item, because you put the uh, inverter block here right next to it. So even if the signal strength is only one, it's going to invert and turn this torch off. Um, and that turns this repeater off, which means it's not activating the dropper, and so everything's fine. Now we put all of our items in this dropper, uh, and it just stays there. As soon as we take an item out of the chest, this comparator turns off, which makes this torch turn on, which activates the dropper, which drops an item directly into our chest. Uh, and it refills it. Uh, see? Nether star this time came first, then iron, then lapis, then 
uh, diamond, then emerald, then gold. So it, the thing about droppers and dispensers as well is that they drop things randomly. So you can have uh, all nine slots filled up and they will be randomly selected to be dropped, which gives you this nice randomizer. Uh, now you might be saying, well, what if I want more than nine things? Well, obviously you can stack things, so I could have 10 or th up to 64 uh, diamonds in here, and that would give us 64 times more likely, uh, or I should say, it would make it 65 more, 64, I cannot talk today, sorry. Uh, so it'll make it 64 times more likely to spit a diamond into the chest as a refill than any other item. Um, or you could just fill them all up to full stacks, but what if you want more than nine different items? Uh, the good thing about this build is that it's very easily extensible. Uh, so all you need to do to extend it to add more than nine uh, refill items is to put another dropper here, which I should have grabbed a dropper beforehand. So, dropper. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me clear my inventory out. So then we get a dropper, a redstone, and a repeater. And that is all you need to extend this design. So you put a dropper here facing in towards the other dropper. Nope. Facing in towards the other dropper. There we go. And then you put a repeater going into this dropper. And you put some redstone. And that's all you need. Now we have 18 spaces. Um, I don't know what 18 things I should put. What if... Uh, you know what? I'm going to make this the mineral chest. So we'll take some diamond. Oops, not a whole stack. Take some diamond... We'll take an emerald, same as our uh, example, some gold, and uh, another star, let's say. Um, and we'll put those all in here. But then in here, let's say we have wool. So we'll put all different colors of wool. Keep doing that. So orange, purple, light blue, yellow, lime, and pink. We'll use those as our wool. So this is our wool chest, or our wool dropper. So now what's going to happen is, when you take an item out, uh, it's going to activate both of these droppers once. So this dropper will drop something into the chest, but then this dropper will drop something forward into this dropper. So that the next time you take an item out, it can drop that item, potentially. Again, it's random. Um, and so you can actually fill this with as many droppers back here as you want. And if you continue this redstone line with repeaters like this, uh, every time you take an item out of the chest, it's just going to move stuff from the droppers one dropper forward. And then it'll make sure you always have something to drop into the chest. So, uh, well, there's nothing in the chest now, so that's not going to work. Now if I take something out of this chest, oh, I get another star. Now I get wool. See? The wool came from the one behind it. And then I get an emerald. And then I get gold. And I get diamond. And I get pink wool this time. And wool. And wool. And wool. And wool. And now they're both empty, so it stops. So, uh, as you can see, um, this is a nice, cheap in survival, easily extendable, uh, and easy to build small contraption to randomize the contents of a chest uh, assuming you're only putting one item in there at a time uh, if you wanted to put more items in you'd have to um, well you'd have to work with this comparator a bit uh, so every item would increase the signal strength a little bit but since redstone only goes 15 blocks um, it won't increase a full redstone uh, it won't increase it a full block just from putting one item in so you'd have to adjust the um, the numbers so that you figure out how many items can go into a chest before the signal strength goes up to two uh, two blocks and then you put a block of redstone here and then the inverter over here instead and then you just bring it out with redstone here um, if that made sense um, so let me show you so basically, you'd want to put redstone here, and then 
I don't have grass. Let me grab some grass. And then the inverter would go here. I uh, don't have a torch. Um, so then you put the inverter here, and the redstone would go here. Um, I guess that does cause a little bit of a problem with that. Um, so then you'd actually want to put a single repeater here. Um, and no, you can't put redstone here, because if you put redstone dust here, it's going to connect up to this comparator, which is not what you want. Um, but then everything else after that should be simply like this. Same as before. Um, yeah, so that would be the difference. And then you just have to figure out how many things can go in here before it's a signal strength of two. Actually, one of those. Yeah. You'd actually need to put this out by one more. Um, but yeah, so you'd have to play around with it. But for just one item at a time being randomized in your chest every time someone takes one, um, that original design uh, with just block and oops I got rid of my torch when did I do that uh, and torch like that is perfectly fine and it will work um, so yeah oh I put my torch in here that's what I did anyway yeah so that's our design for a chest randomizer that automatically throws a random item into a chest every time someone takes the item out of the chest. Um, now it can be a little bit broken uh, if somebody, for example, uh, let's just put all our wool back here and all of our minerals back here. Uh, so let's say this was here and someone took it out and they got another star and then they put it back. Um, so now what's going to happen is if somebody comes back here, they'll see both of them. If they take it out, it's not going to replenish, which may be what you want. Um, it may not be, uh, but that's how this works. But then when you take out every item, then it goes and it throws a random one into the chest for you for later. And if I just... Huh. Interesting. I grabbed the orange wool so quickly that it actually... Um, that it actually didn't turn on, it didn't have time to uh, turn on the comparator. So that is another pitfall. If people continuously grab items out of it too quickly, it won't register that there was ever an item in there, and it won't dispense a new one. Um, but you know, for the most part, it's not completely cheaty proof. It can be broken, but. For the most part, it's a nice, simple contraption if you trust your players. Um, and really, if they do break it, all that's going to happen is that they're not going to get new items, which is only to their detriment. So, yeah, they don't have an incentive to break it. Uh, yeah, so that is my design. And I uh, hope you guys use it in something. If you do use it in something, feel free to make a video response. Uh, or just comment and let us know what you um, used it in. If you want more reddest stone, please comment and let me know. Otherwise, these will just be periodic videos. Not to be confused with the Periodic Video Science channel. Um, and if you just want these more periodic uh, videos, let us know about that too. And I'm going to continue trying uh, to get them up whenever the inspiration hits. So... I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, hope you'll use it, and keep redstoning. <laughs>